Hey guys, welcome back to Objective Reviews. Today, we are going to be taking a look at PDF Viewer by PS PDF Kit. Let's take a look. Alright, so I'm going to start off by saying that the name PDF Viewer is very misleading. Now, not only can the app view PDFs, but it can also help you mark up and annotate PDFs. So if you're thinking that this app is just going to let you view your PDFs, well, you'll be mistaken. And the app allows you to do a lot more. So let's check out all the features. Now, of course, you can load uh, PDF documents into this by plugging your phone into your computer, starting off iTunes and dropping files in there. Or what you can also do is load them from the iCloud drive if you're running iOS 10, which you should probably be running by now. Now I've already added a file to my iCloud drive under the PDFs folder and it's a sample uh, catalog file. So we're going to just pull that in and although it does take some time to load these from iCloud, which is why I prefer transferring them over from iTunes, once it's done, it should appear in the grid view on the main screen of the app. Now tapping on the file that you just imported, well, you can view it. Now the viewing experience when you first launch the app is pretty okay. Uh, well, you can actually customize this and you can customize it to a pretty great extent. What you can first do is tap on options and then tap on options again. And this is going to open a popover which has all the viewing options. Now the very basic one being whether you want to scroll horizontally or vertically. Now vertical scrolling works great on the iPhone and horizontal scrolling works very very good on the iPad. Now the next set of options you have is whether you want to uh, scroll them by page or multiple pages joined one after the other or you want to use that fancy page curl effect that they have really really pulled off very well actually. The next options that you have are the background color. Now you have three options white, beige and black. I would personally recommend using the white one because some PDFs embed PNG images without a background color and if you use black well the whole thing just gets blotched up heavily so not recommended at all but if you want to use it well no one's going to be stopping you so that's about customizing how the pdfs look when you're viewing them now let's come down to what i talked about during the beginning of this video the markup and annotations bit well to create an annotation you can simply long tap or go to the edit menu which is located in the top toolbar when you tap on this for the first time you're given a couple of options where you can add text images annotations and bookmark the page well, you can then go ahead and copy this annotation and drag it somewhere else into the document and from there what you can do is edit it and this will be saved as a completely separate annotation now if you tap the top right grid icon well it's going to show you all the pages from this pdf document as a grid and what you can also do from here is view all your annotations so it's a very good way to check uh, or review all the changes that you are suggesting or just maybe some notes that you've taken along the way and what you can also view next is all the pages that you have bookmarked. But of course, this is not just limited to annotations. You can copy an image from one part of the PDF document and paste it somewhere else. And you can also go ahead and draw using your finger on your screen and you can draw random text or even random objects or whatever comes to your mind. Now back onto the main screen of the app. Well, we have this document and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new folder for this document. And now moving this document to that folder wasn't very intuitive at first but then I quickly realized that there's an edit button in the bottom toolbar of the app. Clicking that, well you're going to be able to select documents and you can either do two things. Number one, move the file to that folder which is just simply moving a file to a folder or what you can also do is copy the file to that folder. Now what copy does is creates a copy of that file into that new folder. So what you would essentially have is two copies of that file, one in the base folder and one in your own folder. Well, I can see why this is useful in a lot of situations, so thank you for including this bit. So my quick two thoughts about this app. Well, it's a very good reader, of course. Uh, the annotations and markup is brilliant and works effortlessly. So should you get it? Well, absolutely. Well, it's free on the App Store, so go check it out right away. And I almost forgot to show you guys this. Well, the app also comes with an iMessage app with a couple of stickers in there. So these are very good and if you need to send a PDF file and just tell someone, hey, sign this and send it back to me, well, you know, it's going to get a lot convenient for you. 
Well, if you like this review, hit the like button. If you just liked it, well, you know what to do. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.